Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Saturday, April 27, 2024. May the Spirit of God be with you all today and may you receive His blessings. May you continue to look to Him who is able to keep you. Our reading today comes to us from John chapter 13, reading from verses 4 to 9. And it says, He riseth from supper, and laid aside his garments, and took a towel, and girded himself. After that he poured water into a basin, and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter said unto him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Peter said unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Amen. We give God thanks for his holy words this morning. Now here Jesus was washing his disciples' feet before the feast of the Passover, right? Before his death. And so he was having a last communion with them, so to speak. And he took a basin and he went down on his knees and he took a towel and he began to wash the disciples feet now when he came to simon peter peter was reluctant peter didn't want jesus to wash his feet and the reason why peter didn't want jesus to wash his feet because he had such great respect for jesus and because he he believed that jesus was the son of god and so he believed that the Son of God should not be washing my dirty feet. But Peter didn't understand. And so Jesus told him that what I am doing now, you don't understand, but the hour will come when you will fully understand what I am doing. And Jesus went on to tell him that if I don't wash your feet, then unfortunately you have no lot and part with me. In other words, you can't come to heaven you can't reign with me or anything like that and so peter immediately changed his story and said lord i want you to wash me from my head to my toe hands feet and everything now what is the moral of the story here because it is very important that we understand what the scripture is saying to us here we can clearly identify that we are important to God and that he will do just about anything for us. That's number one. Secondly, we need to remember who we are dealing with here. We are talking about the creator of the universe, the God of this world, God of our lives, the savior of mankind, the king, the prince, our everything. So his status was very great, but here we see his position was irrelevant when it came on to humility. And so he did not focus on title here. He wanted to show his disciples what example they are to follow after his departure. And so a lot of what Jesus was doing, he was doing it so that we today can have his examples to follow from. And so Jesus went down on his knees and he washed the disciples' feet. And trust me, those feet, they were real dirty because remember they used to wear sandals. So I can just imagine how much dirt was in those water. Now, what is the spiritual understanding of that the dirt here represent sin and the water here represents the blood the blood of christ in order for sin to be eradicated from our lives we must wash them away and how do we wash them away by the blood of christ so you see why 
Peter at that point didn't understand what this foot washing and what Jesus was doing was all about. Because even though he previously told them that he must die, they did not fully yet comprehend. And so a lot of the things that they would have understand would, would have come after his death. And so he made the point clear to Peter and to us that sin cannot live in the presence of God. We must be cleansed from our sin if we are to live in the presence of God. If we are to walk with Christ, then sin must be removed from our lives. He also make it clear that we must be humble. We can't be too high in our position that we can't come down low to meet the little man or to meet each other. And the truth is that some of us need to be cut down from our IRs because we are so full of pride and so full of self and that is sin. And if we say that we are interested in being a part of Jesus' ranks, then we must shed these things. We must be cleansed from these things. And so, he says that we are to what? Wash one another's feet. We are to be kind towards each other. We are to show humility. Because when we do that, we are representing God and the principles that he stands for. Sometimes we have to be willing to step down off our throne. Forget about our position. Forget about the fact that you're a pastor. Forget about the fact that you're an elder. Forget about your position. Forget about the fact that you're a deacon. Or forget about the fact that you are in authority and just meet the people where they are meet their needs as best as you can stop hovering over people and setting up yourself as a god like you are better than others that's not representing the principle that god wants us to represent do you believe that jesus had to wash his disciples feet of course not but he was teaching them a lesson that he needed them to get and to get on board with humility is a priceless commodity that no believer can afford to ignore and it's sad to say that a lot of us we are so full of pride so full of selfishness that we are destroying ourselves and not even realizing it. God need no pretenders. And believe you me, God knows who among the flock who is with him. He knows the wolves. Judas was right there too. Did he wash Judas' feet? What are we to learn from that? Even your enemy if you see your enemy in need, you must not fail to give help and to assist. Because that is what we represent as Christians. That is what we stand for. We are not supposed to be selfish people. And so Jesus washed his disciples' feet that he might show us, that he might teach us to think that nothing is below us wherein we may promote God's glory and the good of our brethren. That's it. We must address ourselves to duty and must lay aside everything that would hinder us in what we must do. Amen. So Christ washed his disciples' feet that he might what? Signify to them the value of spiritual washing and also the cleansing of the soul from the pollution of sin and i say amen you don't need it any more clearer than that and so may god help us may god truly help us to 
humble ourselves to walk after the pattern which he has laid out for us that we may truly live his example to the world that the world can come to know him through us. May God continue to bless and keep you all as we seek his wonderful face. Amen.